Would you flip that shit? Thank you. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's Harry Potter? Looks like Ronald Weasley's house. It, it does look like the Weasley's house from Harry Potter, I agree. So shift just zooms in. Space does nothing. So I don't I just we can't run yet. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven <coughs> years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. <laughs> they ain't getting paid. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Is there? Oh, okay. So okay, they just showed. Okay, they just showed up late. Oh, okay. Just put it, butt it with my penis to get that shit open. Dude, it is Hermione. Oh. They are no, poor. It literally. Left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> Useful. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches. I mean. Not go off path, I guess. They literally are the Weasleys, though. I agree. I agree. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Oh, really? Bitch, where? You're gonna follow me, kill me, and the game's over? Damn. Got my hopes up for nothing. Oh, hello. I have a gun. Shoot it real quick. Hi. Follow it. Get a fresh kill for the night. Okay. I'll fuck myself. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. So we inherited but it. Now I had Great. questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. This is going to be one of those ratchet basketball hoops without the net? Oh, yeah, of course. The house was exactly like I remember Jesus. It, the way I've been dreaming about it. This is ratchet, dude. Like, look, look at this. I think it might be a good balance there. Can I get in the sloppy jalopy and take off? I guess not. Damn, this is in good condition for sitting here for about seven years, but all right. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I'm going to take a really good guess that this key is not going to let us through the front door. What is this? I'm missing. Alright, uh, I guess we don't care. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. I told you that shit was so obvious. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Okay. Cool. Cool. Fun. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Door, I felt bitch. like I was home. Ooh. Oh, let's get lit. Why? Pop that shit. Oh, it ages too. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I highly doubt that this house would be in this condition seven years, but all right. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. I'd be down for Chinese a lot.
The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Oh, take me. Damn, how did the homeboy get out here without his, <laughs> without his movable whip? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Be glad I have the poster. Was someone just fapping at the table? Don't fap at the dinner table. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. Damn! Peep Motorola fucking 2005 looking ass bitch. Let me through this doorway, please. This house should be a lot more ratchet. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. This shit should be dusty as hell. Would you just, would you, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not, would you, uh, are you, are you, stop. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. It's Bigfoot. The Sasquatch. Okay. Oh, I'm not looking at anything spell oh, cut. This is back where we just came from. Alright. Take those bolt cutters, homie. Oh, that's a knife. Take that knife. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. That's who was missing. Get out at home. Guy homie. Guy home lay. Damn. Oh. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay. Can we at least like unlock the front door or something? No, we'll just leave that bitch locked. Okay. Can we take the little can we take the chair up? Oh, I'll fuck myself. Can't have any type of fun. After Milton disappeared, mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peep holes. Yes, bitch. What the fuck? I thought that thing was swimming for a second. This is the kids' room. Molly. 1937. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. I know, dude. You can't even fucking touch yourself in peace, dude. Touch your willy for like one second, there's someone looking through the pee pee. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. It's dank. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Hey! Unlock the chastity belt, boys. Let's get it. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Uh -oh. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Alright. Let's chill for a second. <laughs> You're both the problem. Let's chill. I don't know if we can look at something else first. I don't know if that... Let me... We'll go back. 
Damn, she's got wine out there everywhere, dude. This place is lit. My God, there's more up. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Everything's fucking locked. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. A Sasquatch looking at you. No big deal. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. The fuzz on this bitch, like, I, it's like I'm stepping on Big Bird when I'm taking a shit in there. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Would you like some tea? Some tea and crumpets. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Can I unlock the door from... You know what? I'll just go fuck myself then. Alright. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Is there a toilet paper roll in that bitch? Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. This house is fucked. Who the fuck would want to live here? I will stick it in you. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay, gonna be one of these. I stumbled around. I stumbled around. Okay. Stumbled around for something to eat in the bathroom or what? Oh! Eating and eating. That's fucking ratchet. Am I about to drink out of the toilet? These are fake. Those are definitely fake, though. Those should be plastic. But tell me why on the sides of the toilet, though. Ooh, I got a dick. What the fuck was that? Ooh, ooh, I got a... Look at the tray... Dude! I, she's a bigger peenie than me. Did I go, like, write in my journal or something? Oh, my God. We were going to eat the fish. Dude, that's fucked up. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Starfish. Yeah, new guys, the good boy tonight. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. We are just eating everything in sight, this bitch. My Halloween candy was all gone. Rip. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. This is fucked up. I have no idea. I don't have an idea what's going on here either. I do, but... Okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. 
Am I gonna snatch this fucking bird and eat it? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Yo. My windows are chained. And suddenly... I was a cat. I will fuck you. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Match that hoe. What is this? I don't know where I'm going. I don't think it matters. I think if I just left click it. Oh, I actually have to look in a certain direction. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Go get that shit. This boy is standing up. You like just suicide? I'm just bad man. Am I about to make this leap? This is quite the hop. Oh. This is so fucking weird. We have birds. What the hell? We have birds that's everywhere. I fucking hate this stupid bird. Let me eat you, dude. I jumped and I almost got her. Let me eat you out, please. Come here. Ratata. Okay, or just, you know, we'll just jump through the table. Don't worry about me. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Wiggity swoogity, I'm coming for that booty! I she was getting really tired. I know, I've been chasing this hoe around. For about a half a decade. Yeah, things happen, you guy. Things happen. Oh, okay. Ooh, bitch. I gobbled her up. Yeah, and fell. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. Holy shit, what is this sensitivity, dude? I'm gonna eat that ass. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. We're literally eating. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Oh my god, this fucking sensitivity is ratchet. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Want its ass. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Okay. 
Dude, the sensitivity is so ass. I felt tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I fucking roofied? What the fuck? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. That's why I tried to do the first time. I didn't know I had to. I didn't know I had to like teleport to the thing to fucking. I was big, but I mean real quiet. Yeah. Ah. That scared the shit out of me. He was so fucking loud for no reason. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Okay. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. Across the water, I swam to the moon. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Alright, Henrik, I feel it. Yeah, it is getting darker and darker. I slithered onto the sand. And the good smell went into an old pipe. I'm gonna come out fucking... Someone's toilet. I knew it, dude. This is ratchet. I got closer and closer. I'm just back here. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was vegan. I held my breath for a long time. But I couldn't hear anything. Home Alone Monster Edition. Sure, if I believed all of that, but I'm sure it's such a loser have. vacant. Okay. Oh, so we gotta find everyone's. Okay, okay, I get it. Am I stepping out this bitch? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. This game is so fucking when weird, Edie told dude. People Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. 
She could have, but she didn't. I want to check the weather report really quickly. I want to see if the chance of rain went down or if it changed from a thunderstorm to rain or something or what. Oh, it's raining right now. From 6 to 7, it's a 100% chance of a thunderstorm. So, any second now, if I disappear, you know where I went. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she this was a celebrity. Needs to melt. Because of a little forest fire. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. There's a ghost, dude. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, did you back there? You guy. Yeah. Bed's right there, that's why he was so close. Lives under my bed. He's just going, you guys just going down for a snack. Okay. This isn't weird at all. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. The house is the curse. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Clearly. We're just all fucking cursed. This is like my game right here, dude. I literally made this game right here. I don't think there's anything else to check out here. God damn. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. You know how ratchet this would be to clean? It was a pretty big trace. This is... There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Okay, sure. All right, just a little compartment behind there, no big deal. Let's just hop, hop back, see what we got going Sven on Then gave quick. Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Put a couple too many ice cubes in this one. This house is so ratchet. So ratchet. 
alert is probably gonna scare the shit out of me now. I keep like expecting just like a follow or something so I can keep thinking about it so it won't scare me. Now that I said it out loud, I should be fine. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. I don't want to look this way before, but. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Expecting a follow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. Oh, I thought you meant like at Barbara's funeral, we were like, but. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Okay, you hear that sound? That sounds like two that day, skinny twigs being rubbed against each other. That's when you fucking stop. Oh, mama. I told him going around was impossible. Here we go, boys. This is it. I think I have to left click. I got the altitude here. Maybe Ooh, if I hadn't oh, said that. Okay, maybe we're not jumping yet. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Yo, am I going to jump yet? Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. And maybe he'd still be here, but I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Holy fucking shit, dude! The day he made up his mind to fly. He did. Damn, we had that bitch going. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. All righty then. After the funeral. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. They <laughs> are idiots. You're right, honestly. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. I want to go through that. I don't remember if this is somewhere I've been. Must not have been. Oh, it's the Bigfoot room. The Suscooch room. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. So cold for the temperature up here that the ice isn't melting. Normally it's so fucking hot upstairs. It's normally like 90, 100 degrees, but it's not. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of Damn. all the stories people wrote Shit's about Barbara's firm. death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. 
Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Sounded like her but. biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Who the fuck room. slips into so a table saw? Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. Just the, the regular the sounding boyfriend. Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara... <laughs> Many questions I know, right? Slip right into a table saw. Cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick. But the house was silent. Cop, 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 get Sue? <laughs> jingle, jingle, so much money flashing through my eyes. So many questions. Sue, 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 Sue. Can they use this song? Can they use this? <laughs> Monetize my YouTube video. Make money. You can't do it if you can't hear it. Don't copyright me, please. No, no, no. Scratch and imagine the worst. Man, <laughs> that makes me want to watch this movie. Now pick it up. Oh, it's time to beat some ass. How do they? How do they use this song though? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Beat that ass! Beat that ass! <gasps> his ass. Oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. A crutch? Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead... This is like just a stereotypical, like, horror movie boyfriend fucking... Scares girlfriend, boyfriend's over when they're babysitting. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all seen it. We've all seen a scary movie in our lives. How do they use this song without copyright, dude? I don't get it. If I get co copyrighted for uploading this or something, I'm gonna be pissed. Walter, are you there? 
Walter vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Six feet or a short to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Quite smashing. <laughs> Ooh. That ass. That ass, boys. At the window, homie. She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. All right, I forgot about that thing. Our little fucking. Million dollars. But she sensed the story. It's, 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 the, it's her boyfriend. Yet. He's going to be gone. I fuck. Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. So let's go answer it. I like how there's a peephole on every door in this bitch, but there isn't one right here right now. Okay. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh dear. Will you just scream so the moral of this story can get fucking over? She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. What the fuck? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Okay. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Ah, uh, I think we gotta go back out now. We just unlocked the... I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box.
Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Okay. Can we get up here now? I don't really know where to go now, honestly. We didn't get any new information. Well, I guess we got we knew about the oh, the box, huh? I guess we can go turn it now and it's funny. I thought we already did All that. All those though. times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. I get the I get the hint. I can't get it. Get the hint. Why is my oh, ad block? It's been I mean I don't use that. Where was this though? This Let's get it. Head block. How absurd. I know, might be. What is the temperature? I actually might have to put some fucking pants on tonight, boys. It's 70 degrees out and thunderstorming apparently. Right? Oh shit, it really is. I, I, I can't hear shit over this. And see, the wind is also picked up. It was 8 mile an hour. How much is it now? No, it's actually only... It's fucking cold. And I still have the fan on behind me. I'd have to put some pantaloons on, boys and girls. Stormed hard there earlier. Mom yeah, said it's... the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Okay, that's pretty fucking ratchet, but all right. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Turned out she oh was my god. Her. What the fuck? I can't see a goddamn thing. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Hope we keep internet. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for the day. <laughs> I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you can get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. <laughs> I learned how to use the can opener that time around, boys. That was a little smoother. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's 
It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. It's out there somewhere. I don't get how this hasn't like collapsed Whatever or something. Killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. The oxygen must be so fucked but down there. I need there. to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, uh, I want you to know okay. I'm ready for it. This is where the epic music I'm comes. Fucking train comes by, just runs me over. I don't mind if I only have a year left. I've been living um, the same day for 21 years. It ain't too bad. For a single week. My socks fucking kind of hurt because I just clipped my toenails and like it's like rubbing up against them and they're like too short or something, even though they're really not. I already imagine the sun on my face. I told you. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. We have what four more to go? One, two, three, four. Oh no, we have a lot more to go actually. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. I but feel like we're gonna die. An uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories from yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. I don't get like if everyone around here we in this, so not only in the family, but in this first. specific place right here. We made it real. Why? Come back. Like, honestly, why come back? What is that out there? Plane crash or something? Damn. What a view, though. This game looks pretty good. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Oh, there's going to be the a kid born. Part of. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably. God, that's the thunder. I thought right someone now. was fucking breaking in. I just shook the whole house. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't who fucking knows. Clearly a storm of some sort has happened here. Or like a tsunami or... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the one with the ocean, right? When the tide goes way back and then, yeah. yeah. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just <laughs> I don't know, who, used to it. Yeah, who designed that house and why, honest to God? What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Oh my God, dude. We have a cemetery built for all of our fucking dead it's relatives. for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery made me more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Jesus. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. It's fucking weird. You see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, we get to see it. The boat? It's the boat? I can't fucking... Or the house, that's what I meant to say. But I said the boat, uh, that's what I meant to s s uh, s we, we used, what, focus! Oh, wazed, okay. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. side was always easier for me to understand just the jump I'm get, thinking about it the more I can see where my mom was coming from she for lost real two though brothers, just like I did I get why she tried so hard to protect us we never found Milton's body so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument not a tombstone I mean, whatever you say. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. This ratchet, raggedy ass, creaky ass thing and 7,000 years old. I wouldn't climb up this bitch. This is how I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fall through it. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was gonna be so much climbing, uh -huh. I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Told you there was gonna be a kid. What did I say? Why am I doing this? Everyone's dying slash dead. I want to let you find out alone seven years later. Have fun. <laughs> For real though. For real though. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Okay, just the fucking bear right there real quick. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something.
Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. That scared that thunder scared Poppy a little bit on that one. All right. Let's figure out what happened to Sam. Nineteen fifty to nineteen eighty-three. Boy, he was thirty-three. Okay, I'll fuck myself. My beautiful face needs to be in front of every camera in existence. Don, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Okay, what what do you want? Okay, here we go. What? Ah. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I'll never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Smiled on. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. I should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound- Hey! <laughs> That's the, the keeper. keeper! Yeah, alright, I'll fuck myself. Oh, hello. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where are, are you at? The shit's more zoomed in than... Uh, am I retarded? Oh. Yeah, I am. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don. You don't have to do anything, but if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> this is fucking terrible, taking a selfie. I'm proud of you, Don. Oh shit, Always remember that, I'm coming. Okay? I'm coming. It's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Okay.
Alright. That's fucked. He was one year old. He's barely one. 1976 to 77. That's fucked up. So we have Lewis, Milton, Gus, Edie. Right? Four left. That we have to figure out about. Well, my DPI got turned up. I was wondering why that shit was on roids. I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. I can't imagine what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. I don't know what to, this just takes us right back down. Right? Why did I? I didn't. I didn't want to click. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Well, getting a little more exercise. No big deal. <clears throat> As to say, because yeah, uh, you know, people drown. <laughs> Who the fuck? How, how do they? How do they know that? Happened to revive a drowning person, and they're like, "Hey, how is that like?" She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. <laughs> no, a brown kid named Sanjay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and okay. got a job teaching English. Right. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Died. Lewis was born a year later. <sighs> that was ridiculous. Died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Feels bad, man. Holy shit. Tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Just take that room. I know. So it's because she it's because she won't like every time someone dies they keep the room the same. That's why. That's why she never lets the other person like take the room. <laughs> you're such a nerd. Oh, you're so greasy. So he he was ten and he vanished, disappeared. What's your story, Familia? Milton Finch in the Magic Paintbrush. Okay. I can't keep. I'm gonna turn my DPI all the way up, ready? I can't keep going through that. God damn, do you know how long this would take to fucking make? 
Guys, this was a quick story. I was four when Milton disappeared. I, just, I always just did sick mans, just making each other, making them shoot each other and shit. Okay. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. God, like they die, like in the, but they don't, what like the ones that. Found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Pizza, pog champ. That sounds good. That sounds pretty good. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. I will fucking... Dream you! Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Yeah, because he's getting fucking turned up in here, dude. He's got a PS. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Because he's fucking too blazed constantly to ever get anything done. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same What a behavior. fun job, dude. His mind began to... Do... Wonder. Oh, okay. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. This is complicated. It's like trying to pat your head and rub your fucking teeny at the same He'd time. Feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in Game of Dungeons head. and Dragons. But he took it very seriously. Do you know how much it would I fucking smell here, though? Sleep. The smell would be so ratchet. You'd have to shower for so long after this. Not smell like fucking fish cuts and fish smell constantly. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Do I have to do the fish thing or can I just. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. 
like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Want my your own job where you talk to people and you don't have to talk to people? Fucking. Just fucking just peeping their willy through there, and dude. Songs for them to play. Flashing their Johnson through the window. He talked about starting a band. And he was There's another willy flasher. Every day his imagination grew stronger. HD Minecraft. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. At all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for We're gonna him. die to this like cutting off her thing here or some shit. And he won. So Mario. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. This is getting a little old. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis here. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Er. Ah! Minneapolis. Oh, doesn't really matter. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him. Part of Lewis kept sailing on. I'm just cutting fish, show me. Making that guap. Imagine like getting overtime in this, just like putting in like 12 hour days. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. Imagine if this paid like 13 50 an hour or some shit. Oh my god. Handsome queen. Making the cheddar. The queen was on her own quest for serpents. Found more shank. Sinister serpents. She followed the sound of her. Silver harp. Silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he becomes something greater than a king. 
choppy. <laughs> For someone who'd never known success in Ooh, real, look at this hand cut out. It was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Bill's a bad man. Oh, I see the ganja. The world we know. Must be my locker. I know, right? I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. We're gonna push him in or something? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Gonna suck to edit. We have to watch every bit of it from start to finish. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Who apparently have no face. Going to heaven, Bog Champ. Yeah, that must be what's happening here. Bum, 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 Including bum. the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Oh, it's lit. It's lit. Brr, bum, bum. Hey, hey, hey. Well, isn't this guy just falling himself? There was only one thing left to do. Bend down his head. Mrs. Uh, Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. God damn! Chopped his fucking head off. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Who do we have left? We have, we have three actually. No, yeah, we have three. I didn't even see that one. We have Edie. Gus and Don left for my calculations. <laughs> I'm looking at the book. Alrighty then. Yeah, my my brother was pretty cool. He chopped his fish off, uh, heads off fish for a living, and then he just Lewis chopped his own off. My mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Yeah, because we're all fucking dying. That's why we left. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner.
but it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Yeah, this would be a sick place to sleep. Though. This house would be super sick to live in, you know, if it wasn't fucking killing everyone, but... That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma... You know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. What you mean, the power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Nursing home? We're putting grandma in a fucking nursing home. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Tsunami! When you see the tide go in, you leave. Last time I ever saw the old house aground, there'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I... Oh. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog this is going to be quite the walk, boys. I lost my way. Or, you know, you could have just kept going in this same direction. I got turned around. Damn, I can't see a fucking thing. Once the fog rolls in, literally you walk, you just... For a while, I straight line. Seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I can't oh, scream, but- bitch. Mom dragged me to the car. Hold on. Oh, bitch, hold the phone. 
I'm fucking screwing my I never my saw pocket. a great grandma Edie again. Bye. The next morning, the van. <laughs> perfectly, came to pick perfectly her up. good fence. She was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few My years ago, hand is a dolphin! It's a classic. Make a wish. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. <laughs> she had that cancer. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Where the this is where that's gonna hit you right in the feels, and boys. I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. The baby in my stomach. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And they appreciate open. how strange and brief all of this is. <laughs> This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I'm coming out of a, of a JJ right now. What the fuck's happening? And tell you all these stories myself. But Don't. I guess if you're reading this uh, now. Uh, why don't you tell to the mans that got you way. knocked up? This is where your story begins. I am. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. What the fuck? That was lit. That shit was lit. That was a good fucking game right there, boys. I think I'm I think these guys are alive. These are just like the they're just showing you the programmers and engineers and all that shit with their names, but Oh, they're real people though, maybe. Based off of it. A lot of them kind of have the the features of the characters that were in this thing, but that was a pretty fucking solid I'm I'm sure like these these people are older. They're they're just like using pictures for, of them when they were kids. That's all.
that was pretty fucking hype. I agree. That was that was most definitely a good game. I fucks with it. <laughs> Camera party that was my favorite. I thought the comic book, that was my favorite part of the game, the comic book. I thought that shit was sick. The whole concept's good. Like, there's a lot of storytelling novel type games, like, where you, you're you playing as a character and you just walk, you know, you run through it. Like, um, I think the last one that we played would probably be, uh, what the fuck's that game called? Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear was probably the last one that we played. That one had some puzzles in it. But when they take out the puzzles and just bring really different concepts in, like you're playing as different characters and there's really an in-depth storyline and like a lot of characters with good character development, like like this, I find those games so much better. Honestly. The swing one, yeah, that was... That was pretty lit. Yeah, that's a lot of play testers. I can't believe they used, like, the Michael Myers song, though. I don't know how they got away with that. Isn't that- that should be copyright out the ass. I better not get- this- I better not have to fucking, like, YouTube edit that whole thing out for copyright shit, or else that's gonna trigger me. 2012? 2012? Jesus.